Welcome to the Designing the Row Squarespace store setup series. This is just one video of many where I teach you how to set up your Squarespace store from start to finish. I'm Katherine Forbes, founder of Designing the Row, and I'm also a Squarespace expert, Squarespace authorized trainer, and Squarespace circle member. So if you are looking for help building your Squarespace website, you've come to the right place. This video is gonna be specific to Squarespace 7.0, so if you have been adding to your store and it looks like my Music Biz Besties site, this editing is for you. So I am going to show you in this video kind of how to lay out and change the look of this actual product page itself. So to do that, I need to go back to Pages, back home, and then into this Design tab here. And from there, I'm gonna go into Site Styles, and I'm just going to kind of hover over this section and click. And what that does over here on the left is it brings up everything that we can edit for this product page itself, which <laughs> looks like a lot. What I mostly want to edit, personally at least, is the cropping of these pictures. So you can see when I click just on this over here for products and gallery, you can see my aspect ratio is set to 3.2. I'm going to click on that and change it to square. There you go. And now we can see the full image, which looks much better in my opinion. If you want to change like the ability to zoom, you can uncheck that. You can change a whole bunch of little details about this product page just by clicking directly on them. If you want to change the font or the color of your price, just click on it and you can see those options come up here. Click on the button. You've got the add to cart button styling click on the social shares, you've got those colors and those fonts over here. So just click on anything that you want to change, like click on this description, I can change the font right here. Just that easily to whatever you would like it to be. Let's see, make it a little bigger. So it's that easy. As you make the changes, you can see them happening over here on the actual product page itself. And then when you're done, just hit save and you are good to go. If this video tutorial was helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and if you have any further questions, you can leave them for me in the comments. And as this is a series, I will leave the next video for you right here. And don't forget that over at designingtheroad.com, I have more tips and resources on how you can build and grow your online presence.